everybody. My name is John Schmergel. You probably know that already from the previous video. Um, your professor for Music 101. I just wanted to show you a quick example here of those important musical terms that are discussed at the end of the first PowerPoint presentation for this week. Um, the first one being pitch. Now, as the PowerPoint slides discuss, pitch refers to the relative highness or lowness of a sound, right? So this, so here we have our electric guitar here. We have a piano here too that we can fire up. Um, but pitches can be played on any instrument, whether it be a guitar, or the voice singing that, or a piano playing that, okay? Pitch refers to the highness or lowness of that sound. So this pitch is lower than this pitch. And that's determined by the frequency. Higher pitches have higher frequencies. The, the, the sound that we hear are caused by vibrations that are vibrating at a faster frequency than lower pitches. That's a higher one than this one. Okay? These are all definite pitches because they vibrate at a specific frequency. These are all examples of what we call tones. If it has a definite frequency, then it's a tone. Um, the next important term that we discussed at the end of the PowerPoint was dynamics. Dynamics refer to the relative loudness or softness of a sound. Again, referring to any instrument, whether it be the voice, the piano, or the guitar. So in dynamics, this particular note is being played relatively louder than in this example. It's softer. And as the PowerPoint presentation shows you, we have specific terms in Italian that refer to these relative different levels of loudness or softness. So if you hear a guitar note being played this softly, you could call that pianissimo, because that's very soft. But if you hear a guitar note being played this loudly, you could call that forte or fortismo, because that's very loud. So those are dynamics. That's what dynamics is referring to. And again, it could be referring to the voice. If I'm singing this softly versus that's more piano than if I'm singing this loudly, that's more forte. The last important term that we talked about at the end of the PowerPoint was tone color, also known as timbre. Tone color is that quality that identifies an instrument sound i.e. how we can tell the difference between whether or not a piano or a guitar is playing the note. Because the same pitch, the same tone, like this pitch could be played on the piano. It could be sung to, but the tone color is different. The tone color from all three of these instruments my guitar is different from the tone color of this piano playing the same tone, or me singing that tone. Da, da, da. And it's tone color, also known as timbre, that helps us distinguish different instruments. Because the same, because different instruments can produce the same tones but their tone color is unique. And these are the first three important terms 
that we're going to be um, grappling with over these first few weeks of Music 101, pitch, dynamics, and tone color. I hope that this uh, small example helped you uh, get a better grip on these terms, and let me know if you have any questions.